Hello everyone today. I will guide you on how to turn a 2D image into 3D. Or re-render a previously rendered image that you're not satisfied with. Or even change the style of an image. A bit using AI, here, AI refers to Comfuey, a free and open source platform for everyone. First, you need to prepare an image that you want to edit or render. I use the default nodes already set up by Comfuey. Then you call the load image node. And you can drag your image into it, because to ensure that the edited image does not deviate from the original dimensions. I call the image size node to obtain those dimensions. Now, I will generate to see if the dimensions match the original ones for verification. For the prompt, you just need to focus on the image quality. No need to complicate it at this point, you can modify the prompt later if needed. We just need it to interpolate everything as the checkpoint understands. With the current checkpoint I'm using, which is V1.5. The DPM plus crass sampling level works best. The image has been generated, and the aspect ratio of the image corresponds to the original aspect ratio. Sure, now we'll proceed to the next step with the control net. I'll bring out the control net node, if you still can't find this node. Let me guide you through the installation process. Sure, let me guide you through the process, first. Click on the manager icon, then search for control net after that. Install the three extensions as shown in the image to get the necessary nodes. For the model part to process the map, you just need to click on Install Model then search for Control Net. And find the correct version of the checkpoint. Here, I'm using V1.5 so I will search for V1.5. Then we will call out the Model Control Net node. To let it process the image afterward, I will use the Depth Processing Unit with Image Processing based on the texture map depth. With control net, there will be various generations of nodes depending on the model you are using here. I'm using checkpoint V1.5, so the control net should also be V1.5. I'll select depth V1.5. The image we input into it is not a texture map depth. So we need a map processing kit, you just need to find it here and call it out correctly. This is the node that processes various types of textures. I just need to find the depth option. Now I just need to connect it to the processing head. To ensure that the output image quality is equivalent to the original I'll use to control nets therefore. I need to repeat this process once more with the Linert control net processor. To quickly copy any node or set of nodes, you simply hold down the Alt key and drag it out. Now I will generate to see the result. Understood. It seems like it's not aligning correctly with the input. I will use each processing set separately to see where the issue might be originating from. Great, it seems like the map depth is working well. Sure, go ahead and check the texture processing sample to see if it meets the requirements. That's great. It seems like the texture processing is working fine without any issues. Great, now I will check the Linert processing module. Alright, no issues encountered. The problem seems to be with the composite node. I will switch it to another node with the same function, but a different blending method. That's better, but still not very accurate. I'll adjust the position to make it better now.
All right, now I'll test with another image. So I've guided you through the basics of working with the ControlNet nodes. You can explore and experiment further to achieve the best results. However, in the meantime, I'd like to introduce you to the advanced feature I've previously developed. Of course, I've fine-tuned it so that all you need to do is drag and drop the image. And the final product will be ready without much manual editing. I will fast-forward it so you can have a better experience now. By the way, if you want to use it without spending too much time setting it up, I will post it on my Patreon. You can download it from there. Wish you success!